Good afternoon, everybody. Let us say that today, really in keeping with the teaching of St. Francis of Assisi, we are here today to offer relief to where there was once untold agony and to work together with you to bring healing to where there was once suffering, mainly by our renal patients who we celebrate today. So it is therefore a very high honor to join you as we officially open the Zarina Mirali Daycare Center, as well as the Center for Kidney Diseases and Organ Transplantation. Whereas all ailments have a profound impact on the lives of patients and their families, the support needed for renal and cancer patients is remarkably specialized and of a very high technical nature. So in response to these challenges, through our universal health coverage, which is part of our Big Four agenda, we today again reaffirm our commitment to continue to enhance access, affordability, quality, performance, and responsiveness within our public health system. By doing so, we are crafting a healthcare system that works better for every Kenyan and a high quality health system for all. The opening also of the Zarina Mirali Surgical Daycare Center, which was started here at KNH in 2013, aims at delivering surgical daycare, surgeries that do not require hospitalization before and after operation. This will help facilitate faster management of patients, reduce congestion in our wards here at the hospital by reducing pre and post surgical admissions, cutting down theater waiting times, and allowing for same day surgeries and discharges. This facility adds to the 19 new hospitals around Nairobi that have recently been constructed by my government. This facility will, just like the 19 others, also enable us to decongest Kenyatta National Hospital, which will in turn reduce the long waiting times by patients. It is notable that 80% of the long waiting times by patients at this hospital was caused by a lack of theater allocation against a very high number of surgical cases. We have been taken around this facility, and indeed, I can attest to its state-of-the-art theaters, world-class equipment, and its well-trained, dedicated personnel, who I am assured are ready to offer a wide range of ambulatory surgeries, from cosmetic, dental, gynecological, endoscopic surgeries, to name but a few. We have also been informed that patients who have undergone surgery through this arrangement are really grateful because they have gone home to recuperate in the comfort of their homes and surrounded by their loved ones, which research has shown leads to a better clinical outcomes for our patients. Similarly, the Center for Kidney Disease and organ transplantation that we inaugurated today as well will enhance the Interlife program, a program whose objective is to revamp kidney transplantation services in our country. And it is notable that this facility here at Kenyatta National Hospital has to date performed over 200 kidney transplants under this program. Hongera. The Center for Kidney Disease and Organ Transplantation will also serve as a regional center of excellence in the management of kidney diseases for the entire East African region. This facility, which features two fully equipped theaters, a 17-bed capacity ward, a resource center, clinics, and seminar rooms, has been established at a cost of approximately 200 million shillings. With this facility in operation, our patients 
are no longer at risk of infections that could otherwise have interfered with preferred clinical outcomes. In this state-of-the-art center, any kidney transplantation, a transplant patient can receive post-transplant care and clinical reviews from a wide variety of specialists, regardless of where the surgery was done. The center's modern laboratory, a first of its kind in East Africa, will greatly support organ and tissue transplants by conducting donor and recipient matching locally here in its state-of-the-art laboratory. With this milestone, Kenyans will no longer depend on foreign laboratories for histocompatibility and genetic typing services. The implementation of these Two very important and strategic facilities would not have been possible were it not for the collaborative work between my administration, our development partners. Collectively, we have, we have invested more than one billion Kenya shillings in constructing and equipping these facilities. I would also like to especially thank the Zarina Mirali Foundation for the generous donation of 100 million shillings towards the construction of the surgical daycare center. I also appreciate the board and management of the Sports, Arts, and Social Development Fund for the continued funding of the purchase of the medical equipment for Kenyatta National Hospital. We are indeed truly grateful. So as I conclude, I want to reiterate that in opening these facilities, we demonstrate the vast improvements in our healthcare system that have been secured over the last 10 years. Additionally, this event demonstrates a genuine desire to bequeath current and future generations of Kenyans with world-class facilities that deliver superior health services for all. In that context, I want to thank the minister and his team at the Ministry of Health, the board and management, of Kenyatta National Hospital for successfully steering this ship. So ladies and gentlemen, let me say indeed how very, very proud we are of the facilities that we have seen, but more so, I think the thing that has made me happiest is what uh, Dr. Yanaito, Dr. Yanaito, uh, Ule, uh, he has told me that of all your surgeries, you have had a 100% success rate. 100% success rate. There is nothing one can be prouder of, because it means that it is not just a question of equipment. It is also a question of the capability and capacity of our health workers. Hongera kwenu, pongezi kwenu, we are very proud of you. Very, very proud of you. The second thing that I also wanted to mention is, as we were going round, I was informed by the CEO that as a result of the hospitals that we have built in various states across Nairobi, the number of walk-ins who used to congest Kenyatta National Hospital has come down from almost about 500 every day to 100. Therefore, allowing us now to be able to focus our attention on making this hospital the premier specialist hospital, not only in Kenya, but in the region, because that is what we want you to be doing. So the investments we are making are without doubt paying fruit. And as I said earlier at another function, I want to thank you for being able to remain focused on the work that you do amid the noise and kelele huko inje. Shikilie ni kazi yenu, tuko na serikali na kutakuwa na serikali. Kelele mingi wachana ni nae. Hii taisha tu, kukuna pali naenda. Keep at it, keep working, keep focused, deliver for your people, deliver for your country. And that is all that is required of you. And once again, when I see you, your staff, your board, 
Mr. Chairman, congratulations. Hongera na Mungu wabariki.